Hey, welcome to the forum traffic video. Now with this video, we're going to be talking about using forums to drive traffic to your squeeze page or your sales page or whatever it may be. Now forums, they have been around forever and no matter what your niche is, I guarantee that there is an active community based around that niche and it, it being a forum. And what we're going to do is we're going to find these forums. We're going to reach out to these forums and strike up a deal and advertise with these forums. Now, this isn't your other strategy of, you know, you know, making threads and posting and and waiting forever and having to reply to people and giving value and, you know, posting a hundred times a day so that you're you're active and then waiting for this, waiting for that. This is not that, okay? That that takes forever. It, you know, it might work, but it takes forever. And we're not really looking for that. We're looking to advertise right away and start seeing results right away. So what we're going to be doing is we're going to find, you know, targeted niche forms related to our niche. We're going to pinpoint who the moderators are, who the administrators are, you know, the owner of the forum. We're going to contact these people one-on-one -on -one and see what kind of deal that we can work out, how we can advertise on their form. There's many ways that we can advertise on these different forms. Now, like I said, there are forms in every niche, right? No matter what your niche is, there's going to be a community for that niche, right? So basically what we're looking for, we're looking for forms that are active, okay? We want people, we want them to be active. If they're dead, there's no visitors, there's no point in advertising. We want forms that are active, getting daily posts, all kinds of threads, all kinds of replies, things like that. Ideally, I like to look for five to 10,000 plus members on the form. If there's less than that, you know, it's not that active. So I like to really target, you know, forms that have, you know, at least 5,000 people or more. We also need to be able to identify who the administrators are and who the moderators are. We have to reach out to these people, contact these people to try to work out some kind of agreement. So we have to be able to identify who they are, make sure that they are actually a part of their form. So here I am right now on the Warrior form which is the most popular internet marketing form on the internet. And what I want to do is I kind of want to show you what we're going to be looking for on our forums. Okay. For one, let's talk about how it, you know, being active, as we can see, if I scroll down here to the bottom, we can see that right now there are over 13,000 people that are active on the website. That is outstanding. We can see there's 886,000 people. Now this is most likely the biggest form on the internet. So the forms that you find for your niche, aren't going to be anywhere near that most likely if they are that's great but most likely they're not going to be that high so obviously this meets our criteria for an active form with you know over 13,000 active people next up we can hop into their main form here and we can see you know all these different threads that have been posted today so today is january 9th you can see all these threads were actually posted today onto the second page you can see all the different replies if we head back here to the main page here, you know, over 2 million posts. So like I said, this is a very, you know, broad example because this is probably the most popular form on the internet, but I'm just trying to give an example of what active looks like. Now let's talk about the types of deals that we can strike up with forms. Now, many forms have different types of ways they make money. Not all forms send out, you know, regularly scheduled emails to their, you know, form members. So that's the first way that we could you know, monetize with the form. We could have them send out an email to their subscribers, you know, an email for us, a promotional email to our squeeze page or our sales page. Also, you notice we have a banner slot up here. We have this banner ticking, so this form here offers banner advertising. If we jump into this form here, we can see the sticky section. The sticky section is definitely prime real estate on any form because stickies have been proven to get, you know, a lot more visibility, obviously, because they are stickied to the top of the form. So they are going to get all the eyeballs when someone visits the form. As we can see here, these uh, new stickies here have, you know, 111,000 views, 103,000 views, almost 100,000 views, while all of these other threads, you know, all I, all I see is one of them, two of them even broke a thousand views, you know, they all have, you know, less than a thousand while these have a hundred thousand plus because these are sticky posts and everyone views the sticky post, okay? Another prime spot for advertising, if we click on this thread here, is your signature. If we scroll down here, we can see this gentleman here has links in his signature, most likely to his squeeze pages or his sales pages. Then that's another great spot where you can advertise. You can advertise in someone else's signature as well. So what types of deals can you strike up with a form when you find one? Well, for one, you can have some kind of white label version of your product. So for example, if I have a traffic product, 
I can kind of, you know, rebrand that traffic product as if the form itself has created that product. And if you do something like that, the form is more likely to promote it for you if it looks like it's coming from the form. So I can rebrand my product as if it came from the warrior form, talk to the moderator and get him to mail it out as if the warrior form created it. I could also give him 100% commissions because all I'm looking to do is build my squeeze page or, or build my list, excuse me. All I'm looking to do is build my email list. So I give him this product, I rebrand it so like the warrior form created it and I say, hey, mail this out to your email list or hey, put up some banner ads for me for free, mail it out to your email list, make it a sticky post, you keep 100% of the profits all I'm looking to do is build my email list, right? You do something like that, which I've done before, and it works out great because the warrior form or any form for that matter, they don't have to do anything, right? They're making 100% profits on your entire funnel and you're building your email list. It's a win-win situation. Some other things you could look into is maybe becoming a moderator of that form if you're looking to be more serious about it or if you're more dedicated or passionate about that niche, you could actually become a moderator or even in extreme cases, you can look out, you know, look into actually buying the form. I mean, the Warrior form recently sold not too long ago to a new owner. So if you're like definitely into that niche deep, you know, that's your passion, you're, you know, really into that niche, you can look into buying popular forms and turn those into your own traffic machines. But that's definitely only for, you know, serious mode if you're, you know, got a lot of money and you're really into it. If not, just find related niche forms contact the moderators and the administrators, the owners of the form, and see what kind of deal we could work out, okay? So how do we find these forms? Well, the best way that I like to do it is I like to head over to Google, and you are going to type in your keyword plus form. So for example, I could say, you know, man, I'm in a weight loss niche, I could say weight loss form, for example, and then I am going to receive all these different forms that are in the weight loss niche. So what do I do, for example, is this first one here is a weight loss form. I'm going to open this up in a new tab. We're going to kind of check out this form, see if it's active, see if it meets our criteria for being something, you know, worthwhile. I mean, as we can see, it was number one on the search results uh, right away. I noticed they have a fan page. They're advertising with over 7,000 likes. So that's pretty cool. I see we have a lot of posts here, 60,000 posts. 1,200, you know, over 7,000, 27,000, almost 20,000, 40,000. So this is all great news so far. I'm going to scroll all the way to the bottom here and see if they tell us how many members they have. We can see they have over 53,000 members, almost 54,000, almost 800,000 posts. So this is all good news. I'm going to open up this top form here. We can see a bunch of posts today here, a bunch of posts within the last few days. So this form looks like it's getting a lot of action. I'm going to scroll through here and see what kind of types of forms they have. They have weight loss programs with almost 13,000 posts. So that's great. That lets me know that people are looking to lose weight. Weight loss exercises with almost 20, you know, with 22,000 posts. So that's that's really great. A lot of people are active talking about weight loss exercises. So if I had a product that was weight loss training, this is going to be a great form to reach out and see if they want to work out some kind of deal, some kind of advertisement, some kind of partnership. So I'm going to scroll down to the bottom here. Usually at the very bottom, they have some kind of contact us form. We can see here, contact us. I'm going to click on that and we can see that it brings us to a form here. They want our name, email address, our subject and our message here. So I'm going to fill this out. I'm going to leave a message that says, Hey, you know, I am so-and-so I, I, you know, I work in the weight loss industry. You know, I would love to reach out about, you know, some kind of partnership. Try to reach out and see if they have a Skype or a Facebook that you can talk to them through. It's a lot better than filling out forms, asking for Skype information or Facebook information or, you know, a personal email so you can have some kind of direct line of communication. You know, get an introduction from the administrator, you know, introduce yourself. It's all about building your relationship with the form owner, okay? And be ready to give away, you know, 100% commissions of your product, okay? And it must be high value, you know, very valuable product. Don't contact forums with, you know, crappy products that, that's not valuable for their members because they're going to blow you off and they're going to, you know, most likely they communicate with other related forums and they're going to let other forums know about you, okay? So only contact them with high valuable content and products. Be ready to give 100% of the commissions away in return for building your email list. That's the main goal is to build your email list while also building a relationship 
with the form okay so i would contact them i would go back to our google results here and i would bring up these other forms as well and contact them if they meet our criteria and be ready to kind of rebrand your product to different ways with uh, the forms name their brand so they can advertise it as their own brand you know you have banner ads you have you can they can email their list they can give you sticky posts signature slots advertisement things like that a really great and cheap way or even a free way if they're going to accept 100 commissions to build your email list using niche forms 